So this is Josh, week 64, getting ready for my weigh-in. Uh, I can honestly say, well, aside from Monday, because it was a holiday, I can honestly say I could not have done any more. You know, eating good, exercise. So, scale, I'm coming for you. If you don't like me today, we're going to have problems. It's week 64 of The Biggest Loser Rejects, and a personal shout-out to Mr. Jeff Colburn. The right guard of the Oak Grove High School football team. And now a world-renowned doctor. Week 64, last week Josh, 232, and here we go. I'm standing here for you to do it, man. This is a weight loss. Oh my gosh, you missed it. Come on, man. Woo! What's that? Was that five pounds? Five of them. Alright, cool. Way to go, dude. Way to go. Right. I'm not gonna get more excited because I, that's nothing. I, I gotta keep going. So. You know you screwed up that week. I screwed Yo, what up? up a lot in the last month. Hey man, I'm trying to solo cam right, chump. Yo, a solo wow. cam for the Q doll week 64. I, like Josh, had a ridiculous Monday because of the holiday. I decided to take the day off. Um, but thanks to my bro Caesar, got on a new eating plan. A very solid this week, but I missed about three workouts because I strained my shoulder doing about 250 push-ups one night. So, I hope this goes well because I did put in the work when it comes to the eating. See you soon. 64. Hey, much love to my peeps in Alabama. You have not been forgotten. Alright, let's see what coins he's got. I hope he's in the 50s this week. Roll time. Dude, when are you going to get that haircut? Soon. Got you, honey. You lost two pounds. Dude, you're so close to the 50s, bro. Oh, the 50s are coming soon, buddy. Yeah. Right. From Ch Peter's cameras, you're about to view actual fiction stories filmed live. These jaw-dropping accounts document the pain caused by infidelity. My name is Johnny Geico, and this is Eaters. In today's episode, meet Quincy, a passionate member of a world-renowned weight loss team. Afraid, yet eager, he comes to Eaters, ready to unearth the world of suspicion. Meet Quincy Moran, age 33. Loving, caring brother, supporter to today's suspect. I brought my brother on the program, Eaters, because I'm really nervous that he's going back on the commitment we made to be weight loss partners and to live healthy. Um, if I find out it's true, I'm not really sure what I might do. I might, uh, I might physically assault him. Responsible for the things that come out of my mouth. I hope this program goes for the better good and tells me the truth. Is he cheating or not? Meet our suspect, 30 year old Josh Moran, accused of being infidelish on his new healthy lifestyle. Day one of our investigation, we see the suspect backing out of his driveway. Looks like it's time to go for a little cruise. But wait, looks like he's going to indulge in some glazed sneakiness. Time for an irreparable snack. Investigation day two. It appears our suspect is up bright and early for another brisk day of work. But he's got more than work in mind. As a hooded man goes around the front of his car, you'll see him paying the pizza pie piper. Investigation Day 3. Our detectives track our suspect right back to the same donut shop. It appears he has a holy utterance for the glaze praise. If you suspect unmonogamy, contact Ch Eaters. Now that our detectives have some incriminating footage, the donuts are in the bag. Quincy must now confront his brother over these juicy details. On this day of investigation, we have our investigators uh, following the road.
So he goes in. Have him here uh, right now. Um, look, listen. It's not about violence. It's about communication. Okay. Yeah. We uh, yeah. have him at the donut shop, and uh, we, we just need to uh, confront him and get Quincy. It's okay. All right. I just got. I got to do this. Okay. okay. I just got to do it. I got to do it. Okay. Yeah. We're we're coming in now. Let's go. Let's go. When we come back, we'll see the shocking confrontation. Week 65 of the Biggest Loser Rejects, the Moran Brothers up in the house. How y'all guys doing today? Wow, Josh, isn't this an exciting video we have decided to put together for week 65? I think it is. And one thing I want people out there to realize, I don't know if we stress this enough, that we do use humor a lot, but... I think there's a message in all of our humor. There is a message, and the message is, if you're falling off the wagon, get some help. It's not only about diet, exercise, but it's also about addiction, depression, all those things. Whatever you're doing, and all of those things, you need support. And I can whatever speak, you're doing. I can speak for both of them, because I have been an addict before. And it doesn't help if you try to do it by yourself. you got to have people there for you. Same thing with this. You gotta have people that you interact with if you're falling off the wagon and you're struggling. Get in touch with them, right? You're gonna, you know, we do funny skits, but they have a message. I wanted to get that across today. I just don't want people to think we're just doing funny stuff for no reason. Yeah, there's definitely a reason behind. There's a reason behind our we, madness. We try to focus on the struggles in our own life and what we're going through. So, yeah, guys, we, thanks for watching again. You guys are doing something amazing, getting our word, our message out there to the masses. Our next video. Hopefully we'll have uh, a viewer submitted video from Patty 2.0. Let's do it. All right, Patty guys. 2 .0. We love you guys. Peace out. We'll be back. Talk to you later. Out. Welcome back to Ch Eaters. Before the break, there was a startling discovery. Our suspect was located at the local donut house. And now the conclusion of Ch Eaters. What am I gonna do, man? What am I supposed to do? It's all about communication. What am I supposed to do? Get that camera out of my face!
We do got something, but you screwed up for not talking to me. You're supposed to be healthy now. What happened? Donuts are good, and they're there for me all the time. No! You... I mean, we're supposed to be changing our life, man. We're supposed to be changing our life. I don't know, man. It's so hard, you know. We're going good, and then, and then you drive by the donut shop, and it's just awesome. I mean, look how good this chocolate looks on my face. Do you not see the pain? I do, man. I see the pain, and it's like sometimes it's just you just can't stop. I mean, donuts are good, and and so is all that other food, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. What do you want from me? Is your, is your, is your, I can't believe it! I can't yeah. believe it! Hey! You got that! I can't oh, believe it! Get off of me, man! I hate you! Hey, we need to we need to keep we need to keep him back. We need to keep him back. You're just that big! Oh, you're stupid and your hair looks like Jackie Moon from the movie! Stop it! Come on. 65, Josh, about to weigh in. Oh, up until yesterday morning, I was really confident because, man, I was feeling really skinny, but um, not this morning. I feel, I don't know, it might have been my workout or something. I felt, might have strained my gut. I have muscles pulsating everywhere. But uh, let's see what's up, man. I hope it's good. Got to keep this thing going. Peace. It's the week 65 weigh in for the Moran Brothers tandem, Josh Moran. Come on, dude, I'm gonna stand here so you get me. Oh no, this is terrible. Alright, dude, bring it on home. Two pounds. 225, your life. Good job, Josh. What are my peeps? It's the week 65 solo cam for the Q Dog. Much love to my peeps in Alabama, Tornado Recovery. You have not been forgotten. Uh, guys, I'm scared silly about this weigh in. I had to take a week off from uh, doing my P90X because um, I had a shoulder strain. But I'm back in action now. I am hopeful that the scale will not haunt me for the day. See you soon. Really soon. Bye. Weigh in. Quincy going over there. He doesn't want to gain weight. Gain weight. Oh gosh.